welcome back welcome back and welcome to a new week my name's nicola if you're new here if you're not welcome back as mark said so you join us on holiday we're on our holly bobs in where are we i don't know a place called gunton hall um in norfolk somewhere anyway so we arrived yesterday afternoon the journey should have been like two hours and it took four because we were stuck in traffic for about an hour and then i put the wrong postcode in so we ended up at a different gunton hall another hour away so <laughs> that all went well so we got here four hours later absolutely shattered had drinks with the crew because we're here with Mark's mum and dad and his sister and Mitch and we've got three sort of chalets in a row um, I did a room tour for you yesterday so I will insert that now right this is Nicola from the past I just thought I would show you oh bit light bright light um, a room tour before we trash it you know and put our stuff everywhere so you come in from the door and we have this area here which is like a little lounge area with a tv on the wall and a little fridge um and then we've got some stuff here some drawers oh there's a hair dryer um and then we come through here we've got a wardrobe and don't worry i've already checked for dead bodies no dead bodies then we've got a makeup area here. Oh, with a light, good. Oh, always good. And then through here we have the bedroom. Obviously, we've just put our suitcases on there. It's a massive bed, which is great. Um, another massive TV on the wall. And then in here is the bathroom, which have these brilliant lights that come on when you walk in. There's one above the basin as well and a walk-in shower with a handrail thank goodness so yeah it's really really lovely and then we've got mum and dad's room is there and lisa and mitch's room is there so we were in the middle we we're in the middle and that's the front door so it's a really cute little apartment yeah i think we're going to have a nice weekend so we've just had breakfast um and that was very nice it's like a buffet style and if i remember i will take you along tomorrow and tonight maybe and show you what the the things are offering um and yeah we have like the same table that we sit at for all our meals which is nice um the accommodation as you saw is lovely and today I think we're going to, because they have lots of things on, um, there's like a timetable thing, but we are going to go into Yarmouth today to our favourite tea room um, at Merivale Model Village. And then we're going to go around the arcades, I think. Just do whatever we want to do, really. Um, yeah, and then we'll come back. I think there's a Phil Collins tribute act at three o'clock so we're going to watch that and then there's also another band um tribute act tonight so last night we watched uh duran duran tribute act and i filmed some footage um so i'll put that in here <laughs> we're just going to see where the day takes us really but I'm just going to sit and have a rest now after we've had breakfast I thought do I have something on my face all that time oh no it's on the screen <laughs> it's on the viewfinder I thought it was on my face but it's on the viewfinder so yeah I'm gonna have a chill out and then we will go into Yarmouth <laughs> Yeah, that's new, isn't it? 
What's that? That thing that's swinging round and round. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, Mum said she wants to go on it. <laughs> what the hell to skelter? No, oh. <laughs> What did she say about that? The swing, oh I can't, I can't deal with swings. No, I don't mind it, we're not that high. Maybe she wants to go on the big wheel, but I said no. <laughs> Sweeties. Yeah, fruit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's probably the sort of fruit I'd eat. <laughs> Donuts. An ice cream. Donut with a... Oh, with the ice cream in the middle. <laughs> you can have one of them. I will. <laughs> I will. Do you want a toy, Mark? Yeah, <laughs> Do you well, want a what, toy? What can I have? How much has he got to How spend? Much got in your pocket, Dad. <laughs> Come on, was it? <laughs> nothing in it. But yeah, he's got a wallet, but nothing in it. So you can't have anything, Mark. That's what I have a toy. Lise, you you have to kick up a fuss, mate. Mark's allowed a toy. That's cool. <laughs> I like the uh, pots of light like them ball. I'm not buying uh, volleyballs. You're going to buy a fluffy ball, you can't have one on there. They get sad, you have to have a pair of fluffy balls. <laughs> I can't let you go, baby. I'd go on the big wheel, but I wouldn't go on the swings. Cause I love you, baby. I can let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't. Hey? I've got so many, I didn't know. <laughs> I couldn't remember which one you got me. Coke. Eventually. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now because I love you. Yes, I do. We're going to play crazy golf. I think I'm going to win this. Do you reckon? Oh, maybe. Possibility. Thank you for your dark horse. <laughs> well, no, it either goes well or it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, same with me. <laughs> right, Mark Renz is going to get hold in one. But if I don't, you can't put it in. No, I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in whatever. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. That was... Ooh! Not far away. Not far away. You were saying it's rubbish, didn't you? No, I was going to say it's just to the side. Go on, whack it while Mark's there. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that a giant log? Yeah, Mitchell's not been here. Hold him one, Mark. Where is it? Woo! <laughs> Go on then, Mark. You're not going to get that in two, are you? Alright. <laughs> you didn't get the ones I've got in two, did you? No. Give me some hole in one as well. You didn't get a hole in one. <laughs> oh! Oh! Don't you just hate that? Go on, Dad, you put yours away. Yay! I'll probably get it out of the back in the actual water. I bet that's been done before. <laughs> what was that? Rubbish, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Yes. 
Oh, it might be in the water. Oh, oh on the edge. You're on the edge, Dad. The last hole. You missed. Yeah, you missed Mark's hole in one. That was back there. My rubbish shots. Oh. You, you shoot rubbish when I'm filming. Oh, sorry about that. It's nothing to do with me filming, mate. Oh, where's oh, it gone? It's gone out. It's gone out. It's gone out of the pebbles. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're filming. Yeah. The filming's making it causing Mark bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in? No. That's only six over. Mark got 51. Our right. total should have been 45. He's done well. Mercy. Okay. Right. So you got 51. 51. You got 58. 66. You got six. <laughs> so 51, 54, 58, 56. 66. <laughs> I've got a pay minute now the weekend. You, no, you've got to buy all the tea and cake, all right? <laughs> Right, finished golf. Now we're at Maryvale Tea Room, which is their favourite tea room ever. Mark's happy. He's got his Fanta Lemon, look, he's on holiday. And he's got, what is that, a shortbread? Viennese well. Viennese well. I've got some sort of go-nutty thing and we've got a sausage roll to share. And I've got a tea. No saucer. <laughs> no, it was good. Oh, cutbacks. Freebies we I got. still got my um, little uh, candy crush. Oh yeah. I think she won in there. Didn't On she the one of these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they've still got the sooty machine. Oh. That's tradition, isn't it? Yeah. One pound. Let's see if I've got a pound coin. Oh. Hang on. Ready. Oh. Ah. Oh no. Ah, what? This is Harry Corbett speaking. Get out of your TV favourite, Sunny Sweet and Sunny Play. Is it working? Oh, it's doing it. I've got my pound back as well. And when they were up, they were up. <laughs> when they were down, they were down. Look at Mark. <laughs> up or down. Oh. Have oh, we got it again? Oh, there. Yep. Trying to close it over his bottom. Uh, it's too slippery, isn't it? Yeah. It's because it's, it's silky. Right, I'm going to go for that white one to look at. He looks like he's had a rough night. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Uh, too yeah. slippery. Slippery little suckers. A little longer than a few minutes later. We didn't like the Phil Collins tribute actively. No, it wasn't. Compared to last night's Dran Dran, he was a little bit. So we came out to he sit in the sun. He wasn't a bad singer, but he just wasn't that bad, was he? Nah. Mark's got another pint. I've got a gin. And we're just enjoying the sunshine. Oh, yeah. yeah you can just see the back of this one of those there. Next it's cordoned off over there because it's got swans nesting. But we're just having a quick look around the grounds before we go back to get ready for the evening. It's been so glorious today. Really nice. Well, a lot warmer than this has been. Isn't it? Yes. We thought it was going to be cooler than this, didn't we? It's been really warm in this, aren't it? Mm. September is now, so we're not going to that. Good job you went and got the cream. <laughs> yeah, I went on me 
You'll still be a bit of a, be, uh, a rooster. <laughs> Red rooster. That's the swimming pool in there. <laughs> Fry an egg. Um, I might go swimming tomorrow, but I've got to see how my energy is. I really want to. Why can't I be like Harry Potter and just magic myself dry and dressed? No. And they've got this beautiful lake here, look. This is the angle I saw last night because we sat up there in yeah. that building last night. Right, there's a swan on the lake. Let's go and see in a minute. But there was rabbits here last night and um, we were sat up there and I was watching the rabbits. And there's a giant chess set, but I have no idea how to play chess. Dad tried to teach me when I was younger and I and failed miserably. Is it? This is me you're talking about. <laughs> I want to go and see the swan. Let's see the swan. No. Swans are so beautiful, aren't they? So graceful. There's this nice little bench here you can come and sit and just watch. Let me focus in on it so you can see it. There it is. Beautiful. Look at the reflection in the water as well. Right, I need to go back because I need a wee. Right, I'm all ready. Sort my hair out for the evening. Um, we go for a pre-dinner drink first and a game of Uno. And then we go and have dinner. And then we go and watch the evening entertainment and play more games. So I've just gone for my long black dress tonight um, with short sleeves. I was going to wear my H&M pink dress, but it's got long sleeves and I didn't want to be too hot because at least I could take this off. So yeah, we're just going to wait for the others and get going. Look, we found a squig. Oh, it's just run behind the bush. I wonder if he'll come over here. <laughs> What's he doing? Come. There's a, a bunny over there as well, look. In the dist in the distance. Da, 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 da. Just call me Miss Nature. Squig's gone. Oh there he is. Oh, there's another bunny. Do you see that? <laughs> another bunny. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Or oh, is he a hare? Because he's got no. tall ears. No. I thought, tall ears I thought were hairs, I don't know, they're very cute, I don't know where Squig's gone. <laughs> right, here's, I've got lasagna, chips, carrots, peas and a bread roll. There is a starter but I got two full last night. Mark's got soup haven't you? I have, leaky leak potato. potato. With crouton. 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 <laughs> Dessert. Child, really. Raspberry and pistachio and white chocolate, I think. Mark's eating his. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, look before at I it. could get there. All desserts, 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 desserts. <laughs> oh, focus. How many furlongs are there in a mile? Mum got it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Chow is the French word for which vegetable? Broccoli. Kale. No. Pea. No. Carrot. No. No. Onion. Garlic. No. Garlic. What did Dad say? Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. What hangs down from the roof of the cave? Yeah. Oh, I'm there. Tip me tongue. <laughs> <laughs>
morning. This is Sunday fun day and we're just ready for breakfast. I haven't put any makeup on because I am having a facial this morning. So, and I haven't had a shower because we're going to go swimming later as well if I have enough spoons. Cross your fingers because I've got a hot tub and I really want to get in that hot tub <laughs> if it doesn't hurt. The last hot tub I went in hurt my legs. So we will see. But yeah, it's tiring this holiday business. It really is. But it's lovely. It's lovely. I'm very grateful. Um, look at our pile of washing because I forgot to put a black sack in when I packed. So we've got to get one today to take all the washing home to do tomorrow. Right, let's go and get the day started. <laughs> Breakfast. Juice. People. And people. We're going to queue up for the pancakes. Fruit. <laughs> Pancake. Mark. <laughs> Mark's my carrier. <laughs> Lots of fruit. Lots of cereal. <laughs> right. Stuck, get in. Don't trip up. No. <laughs> Doing well, Mark. I might clip up my fringe um, I've just had a facial that was very nice and now and we just sat in the sun outside all of us had a drink and now I'm going to go swimming um, with Mark and his sister and then I think we're meeting up for lunch so I've um, got my cosy on I'm ready I'm raring to go I've just got to sort this fringe out right we've been welcome swimming back, back. there he is We've been swimming, couldn't get in the hot tub because it was rammed, wasn't it? Rammed. It was rammed. It's empty now though. No. Two Is it? Two in there. Uh, it's a big hot tub. But we did go swimming, didn't we? It's not a nice pole, yeah. And now we're sitting here. This is the outdoor area. So we're sitting in the sunshine, waiting for our lunch. Mark wanted to go for a free bean jacket potato, but I wouldn't let him. Curry tonight. Oh. It's off. Curry I have tonight. to make up with curry tonight. Curry tonight. <laughs> so what we have in tuna panini. Tuna panini. We're going to share it, aren't we? Yeah, share We're it. doing a lodge, guys. We're sharing it. With fries. If we have an ice cream, do you want me It's a shame we haven't got a whippy machine here, isn't it? Like a whippy. Yeah. Well, yesterday we saw something in Yarmouth, didn't we? Yeah. We'd already had a cake. But we'd had a cake from Merryvale, so. Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> somewhat, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna film it, but you're eating it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you can eat it now. <laughs> right, we're playing um, snooker now. We were just saying, me and Mark, we used to play all the time, didn't we? God, you can tell I've got no makeup on. I look terrible. So it's me and Lisa against Mark and Dad. Go on, Lisa. It's not a black and white telly. These are all red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Oh. Yes. Well done. Oh. <laughs> what one are you going for? I've got some proper grass. Oh, I've got the black. You potted the black? What does that mean? Oh, you get eight points, you're doing like rubbish. Uh, right, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, 
<laughs> 10 hours later <laughs> we're still playing we've still got quite a few balls <laughs> third game no it's not it's still the first one and there's four of us playing which is quite sad really right i'm back in the room i've got a cheeky glass of rosé still because mark ordered me one he was well he still is watching football and i sat reading my bridgerton book the last one i'm on and i was there for about two hours <laughs> just sitting there after we played snooker oh the girls won of course we did um it took a while though <laughs> and yeah then i sat and read my book for two hours drinking rosé and it was delightful and to be honest i could still be there oh a bit sunburnt i forgot to to put sun cream there <laughs> oh dear <laughs> never mind so now i'm just going to do a bit of packing and get ready for tonight and it's our last night it's been so so lovely but don't don't worry tomorrow on the way home mark and i are going to stop at a place called olsen broads olsen 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 broads something like that i'll tell you tomorrow anyway um and we'll probably have some lunch there or something and then head home to the carnage and washing that will commence you know when you get back off holiday but anyway let's enjoy our last evening this is a look at it <laughs> no i've just done my hair and i've pinned it back so i could do my makeup can i just say right can i balance you there <laughs> glass of wine out of all the places i've ever stayed in my whole life on a holiday this room this room the actual room is the best room i've ever stayed in in my life that's my statement that's my statement i'm going to tell mark's mum and dad that tonight it's amazing so you saw the room tour i am currently sitting at this workstation with mirror which is fully lit above and up there it's just i could have my fan blowing on me that's the one i got for my birthday from flying tiger if you're interested i've got my wine i've got my makeup here i've just done my hair can i have this set up at home please like lisa said i could quite easily live here put a little kitchen in somewhere i'll be happy i would love somewhere like this to be able to do sit and do my hair and makeup i would really love it and in fact I think I'm going to go back and look at our bedroom and see if I can incorporate it somewhere because I love it that much. I feel like I need a space like this at home. So watch this space because I think something might have to happen. But this is an amazing, amazing room. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. I'm listening to a podcast. Of course I am. Help, I sexted my boss. I've got my rosé got the place to myself, Mark's watching football, I'm going to finish my makeup, how long have I got? 25 minutes, perfect, loads of time. Right, makeup, hair, done. Will I pass? <laughs> I've got my new H&M dress on, look how red I am. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> so yes, I'm ready for our last night out and uh, hopefully it'll be a good one. Here is my dinner tonight. I have a brie and cranberry tart with a few chips, half a potato and some vegetables. There we go. It's the volcanic ash. And drains. <laughs> no, that was at the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah it smelled like, like drains. A hint of Luton. Dad, lay it down. It's nice. It's nice. Fashion teeny. It does, it does taste like a Solero, yeah. Put it in the freezer. Put <laughs> it in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, me and Dad got off, got red edge. Red edge. Oh right, yeah. I've got to do a lot of editing here. <laughs> this would be the bit where I fall asleep editing. <laughs> 
How has your idea of fun changed as you got older? Uh, it involves alcohol. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Stay at my hair. Good morning. It is another manic Monday, and it is our last day. We're going home today. Um, didn't have a good night because my shoulder when we came out here i slept funny on my neck and shoulder like the day we came here and it's just got worse and worse so actually i'm going to swap arms it's mark's put some deep heat stuff on it but i said to him i guess it's just having fibro like anything you do it takes longer for your body to recover so it obviously affects my sleep and how I go from place to place, but anyway, um, I was going to put my hair up today, but I gathered that might hurt my neck too, <laughs> so I didn't, um, but we're just going to go for breakfast, and then we're going to head, me and Mark are going to head to Alton Broads, the others have got to go home, because Mitch is a taxi driver and he's got a job on, but it's been so lovely, really lovely, but it's also nice to get home and get your home comforts, my sofa I've missed. <laughs> the YouTube I've missed and I've missed obviously the girls so yes let's get going yeah had breakfast now we're just sitting outside with all our stuff <laughs> waiting for uh, to make a movie to Alton Broad what number are we three we were chalet three if you're interested sun's coming out now which is nice it's pretty isn't it? Lower Stoft Museum. Flowers look pretty as well. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together if i could stop don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here? We're just uh, having a sit down with Mark is I've been sitting down That must be the massive old meal or something over there Do you think? Yeah we said like Can you see there's a place over here with two massive chimneys But it looks like accommodation now But Mark reckons it was a meal you got all the swans down here. Pigeons. And ducks. And we didn't bring the duck food again. <laughs> we are home. Right, I think we're the only people that go on holiday, come home and get an ice cream from the ice cream van. <laughs> no, we didn't we only had a magnum I think when we were there. But um what have they got? What you got? What you got? You got biscoff. Oh, biscoff. biscoff. Yes, please. I can't even focus it. How do you? Thanks. What you got? Normal. Nutella. Chocolate sauce and nuts. <laughs> nuts. I said we're the only people that go on holiday and then come back and get an ice cream. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Oh, got to put the rubbish out later. I'm just in the bathroom about to do my makeup and hair. It's 12 o'clock. I've just been doing jobs. I've put a load of washing away. 
I've washed up because the dishwasher didn't work. Don't you just hate that when you put the dishwasher on and then you get the stuff out and it's still all dirty and you're like, oh, for goodness sake. Um, but I do need to sit down at some point. Um, I'm really suffering still with my uh, trapped nerve for my shoulder blade. So I'm trying to be careful of that. I'm gonna do a couple more things and then I'm gonna sit down, get the vlog ready for tomorrow, which was my birthday. No, it was Kensington, Kensington Palace vlog. And then I will watch some YouTube or some a film or something and just chill out because I really need to do that. I'm busy all day tomorrow. I'm going out with my mum and dad and then I'm going to the cinema in the afternoon with Holly to see The Little Mermaid because Ariel is her favourite princess and as soon as I saw they were doing a remake of it I said Holly we have to go and see this so I'm really looking forward to that the only thing is when I booked we go to Cineworld and when I booked they've changed all the cinema they've updated it all and it used to be that you could book the seats in the like not in the front front row but there's the front section and then there's the bit behind and there's that front row that has all the leg room and I always used to book those seats because then I could stretch my legs out because otherwise I'd get painful but they don't have that anymore now they've redone the cinema it's just all no leg room so I'm like oh <laughs> where do we sit and I don't like sitting I've got a thing about sitting in the middle I hate sitting in the middle of anything so I've put us on the edge so I can sit right on the end so I can throw my legs out if I need to yeah I'm going to try and put some makeup on because otherwise if I see this in the mirror it will make me feel worse than I am so I'm going to try and cool down I've got my fan got my fan to put on put some makeup on do a couple more things and then sit down are you ready in you go Oh, oh, is that nice? Is that nice? Hey, give you a bath. I don't know if he's keen. <laughs> I don't know if he's keen. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> is it a bit too full? Let me let some out. There you go. You can keep your head up now. I've got to clean your shell. Oh, Kelsey dust wee. All these wounds have healed nicely now, haven't they? Mm. Have they healed nicely? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to climb out, but you can't because you keep sliding back down. Is it nice? I don't think it's too impressed. Hi, Art. It's good for you. I'll give you a bit of a bath. <laughs> right, that didn't quite go according to plan. He has pooed for England in the water over the towel everywhere I'm waiting in case I think there's more coming he's having a complete clear out in my sink and it stinks <laughs> any more before I put you back god this stinks I'm gonna have to clean the sink now oh I want to sit down any more <laughs> it's just I won't show it to you because it's nasty. <laughs> Let's just say I've got my work cut out. Good morning, happy towel wash Wednesday. So this morning I'm off out with my mum and dad. We're gonna go to the range and have a look round and I'm gonna film a shop with me for you for a Wednesday upload. And then we're gonna have some lunch. Um, I need to pop to Pets at Home to get the rats some more biscuit and the guineas some more hay. Um, so yeah, just a day pottering around, which should be nice. 
Um, I did think, let me put you down for a minute. I did think that I might have a chat with you about how I cope um, with holidays because I know a lot of people on here have said before, how do you do it? How do you go on holiday? You know, how do you deal with your pain? How do you deal with fatigue? And yes, there's going to be pain. Yes, there's going to be fatigue. I think what I found the hardest, so I'm just going to move you this way a bit because it's quite bright there, um, was the getting up early for breakfast every morning because we had to be um, in breakfast for half past eight every morning and that was difficult for me because, like I've said before, I get up um, usually, I wake up naturally unless I have to set my alarm for something. If I have to set my alarm then my body's not good. And then I have to stay in bed for about an hour with my drink just before I get up because otherwise I fall over and crash into everything. So we were setting our alarm on holiday for about seven and then I was staying in bed for about half an hour and then getting up and showering and getting dressed. And I found that difficult um but i managed it so you know i think you have to sort of say to yourself it's just for a short period of time and then this week i've been having lay-ins um and waking up naturally which my body is recovering from those early starts um so that's how i coped with that uh, the pain side of things, I find when I'm on holiday, my pain is a lot better because I have the endorphins. So I'm having happy endorphins being released because I'm away. I still try to pace things. So if we're going out for the day, I will take my scooter, my little Super Grover, um, and use that. I still use my walking stick everywhere because I have to. Like when we went swimming, I had to judge how my body was, whether I could cope with the swim or not, um, and then obviously have the rest afterwards. So it's all about being sensible, really. Um, I think as long as you do that and don't go into it all full whack and try and do everything all at once and do everything that you might have done before, then that's a mistake because that might lead you into a massive flare. I have been on holiday when I've had a flare before. We were in Yarmouth again and we were in a like um like a lodge, like a caravan lodge and we'd been out um for a few days in a row. And we'd been to Pleasurewood Hills, which is a theme park here in the UK. And I had been, we'd hired, because I hadn't got the scooter then, so we'd hired an electric wheelchair, which was amazing. I really would prefer an electric wheelchair to a mobility scooter any day, but they cost a fortune and you can't collapse them for your boot. So anyway, <laughs> I, I digress. But yeah, I'd been in this electric wheelchair, which was brilliant, but it was freezing and I hadn't dressed appropriately. And when I get too cold, like through to your bone, then that is what brought on the flare and probably the fact that we've been out like every day in a row. Um, but what I did was that that time, I took a load of um, DVDs with me um, that was of One Tree Hill that I hadn't seen before and I treated myself to the whole box set and so, in a way, I didn't mind having the flare up because I just stayed in bed in the caravan and I binge watched through loads of DVDs and just sat there eating crisps and chocolate. So, in fact, yeah, it was a bit rubbish to miss out on the day and I insist that the, they still go out because I don't want to mess anybody's holiday up, you know. So I'm like, no, please go out. I will feel better if you go out and carry on. And then I just stayed in and watched DVDs. And then the next day I was back to, to going out again. So it's just all trial and error. 
so that's what I would say um, for holidays but a lot of people say that they avoid holidays because they know that it's going to be on a flare or that it's going to they can't cope with the pain but if you've got the pain anyway why not try the holiday to see if the endorphins help because the happy endorphins are wonderful things but anyway I'm going off now I'm gonna I'm just waiting for mum and dad I'm starving I haven't had breakfast nearly 10 past 11 we're gonna have lunch there so anyway I shall catch you later good morning welcome to weird Thursday I'm not feeling the best fibro wise today and although I was cross about it Mark rightly said we had such a busy weekend as you could see um, I was going to suffer at some point so I've done well up to now really but um, yeah I'm glad I'm just going to put the shopping away and then I'm going to sit down and edit and I'm going to look forward to editing obviously our holiday footage so that'll be good but <laughs> When I, when I get flary now, I get really dizzy. Um, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I don't know if that's something that you suffer with as well, but it's what I have to put up with anyway. One of the many things. Oh, and my skin's been not good at the moment. I've got, can you see that? Across my neck, which isn't sore and it doesn't itch. But when I sprayed perfume on it this morning because I forgot and I'll show you on my tummy what I've got as well. Where is it? I've got this on my tummy as well. So <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh, and the other day, the other day, this is like Dr. Nicola. I came out in, where is it gone? There was a mark. That's just from my operation, <laughs> where they made my shoulder into a metal. I had this massive thing over here. All I can describe it as was it looked like a love bite, but it wasn't. But it looked like that, but massive. And I had one on my thigh, and I've still got the one on my thigh. But it won't go. And this one then turned into a bruise and left. So... I don't know, I don't know what's going on with my skin at the moment, but it's obviously not happy. Anyway, I'm going to put the shopping away and then get to editing this, but later I want to show you a plant in my garden. I know you can't contain your excitement. It's so pretty and it smells amazing. I wish I could put smell -a vision in there so you can smell it with me, but I'll show it to you later. Now, you know, contain your excitement in this. Also, with the shopping this week, I got this one pan Italian cheesy chicken and garlic pasta. So, obviously, you do it all in one pan. And for me, that is, you know, perfect. Because I try to do dinners, if I'm cooking, that are easy and not too much getting up and down. So, yeah, I'll uh, let you know how that is. Right. I'll show you Evie's rose. It's got two two heads on it, two white heads, because we obviously got a white rose for Evie. And it's got another bud there, look, and another bud there. So and another one's springing up there. So that's doing well. And then over here, we've got this beautiful climbing rose my dad and stepmom bought us when we moved in so you can see how far it's grown we've put a trellis on the wall but yeah it's doing really well there's another bud ready to open there there's one open down there <laughs> but it's uh it's really pretty and then through here this is oh i can smell it already this is the bush that I wanted to show you. This was here when we moved in. But I think it must be like a jasmine because it smells like jasmine. It's so pretty. It's like literally, 
covered in these flowers and the bees love these flowers which makes it a bit difficult walking past because as you can see oh look talking of bees <laughs> they're everywhere um yeah trying to get through there without being stung is a feat but um it smells and looks amazing it's just glorious i just wish i could have this smell indoors it's so nice and the buzzy bees love it, don't you buzzy bees? Also, for those of you that saw what I got for my birthday, these flower jars from Angela and Simon, I hung them here because they look so lovely at night. I can see them from the lounge. And then these are the two wind chimes that I got. I don't know, you might be able to hear it in a minute, but that one sounds prettier, this one's more like, yeah, it's not as a pretty sound as that one. But yeah, that's where I hung the jars. And I put Artie out today. He's enjoying a, a stroll around. Aren't you, Art? You gonna go in your swimming pool? <laughs> Pooing that like you did the sink, hey? He loves it in there. I also now have a football set up <laughs> in my garden. <laughs> um, Poppy bought these. She just loves football. She used to play football for her school. She used to be the goalkeeper. But she's oh, she's always been sporty. And so, yeah, she bought these and set these up in the garden. Oh, let me get out of the way. Just look at that as well. Look at that. It's just everything's doing so well at the moment this is the plant that mark bought from the garden center that he loved so that's doing well as well oh it's glorious now i think i might sit outside for a bit with my book um and just soak up some sun for a bit and some warmth so i hope you've enjoyed our holiday vlog um and this weekly don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not done already leave me a nice comment i know you always do and um i shall see you all on wednesday what is it this wednesday oh it'll be the range shop with me so see you then take care have a lovely weekend bye